Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Dixon, and when I was 10 years old, I was given a choice of either A, to play classical violin, or B, to really not play anything. <laughs> and I chose A, and it was a lovely hobby for me, a pretty serious hobby uh, for about 25 years. Um, and yet I was never really given the serious choice of performing for a living, uh, but that was okay because I also was into technology and I, I was and still am a geek <laughs> to some extent. <laughs> so I had a 15-year career in uh, corporate technology and I specialized in multidimensional data visualization. A little different than what I do now, what happened was I went through a life change about 10 years ago. I was feeling kind of stuck in my life and I, on a whim I went on an adventure to the deserts of Nevada and I went to an event where I was surrounded by a bunch of people acting a lot different than me and they were well, they weren't acting. I, what I found out is that they were actually just being themselves. And it shocked me. I realized it was a mirror for me. I was never myself. Like I never really truly expressed myself. I was always kind of hiding. And so I started to like explore, like who am I? What am I feeling? And so I started to grow and learn and explore musically. I started to improvise and I ramped up more and more music and I eventually quit the corporate world altogether and I'm blessed now that this is what I do for a living and I love it. And so now when people hear that I'm a violinist, sometimes they'll ask me, well, do you A, play classical music or B, do you play fiddle? Right? <laughs> it's a box, what I call a box question. Do you fit in this box or do you fit in that box? And I find that this, this happens all the time. Uh, even earlier this week, I was at the dentist office and I was filling out paperwork and there was, okay, what's your gender, male or female? And I'm like, okay, for me, that's actually a pretty straightforward question, but I, I know a lot of amazing, beautiful people, but that's not always a simple answer, right? There's boxes for, are you single or are you married? And I scribbled in next to them, in love, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? There's this myth that with relationships, you're either just dating, which means it's not really serious, or you're married, which means you're not allowed to look at anyone else, let alone love anyone else. And then I found these amazing people in my life that are in alternative relationships and polyamory and such, and there's a rainbow spectrum of options, and I'm blessed now to be in the deepest, most powerful relationship I've ever been in. And it's wonderful, right? And yet these box questions keep coming up, right? People ask about, you know, like spirituality, like are you an atheist or do you go to one church? Well, those aren't the only options, right? There's, there's a rainbow spectrum. It's like, it, it's like a buffet of spiritual traditions, and I like to sample them all. And I've learned like really powerful things from lots of them, and the combination that's on my plate might be different than the combination on someone else's plate, right? And so these, these box questions, like what I do now, I was never given the choice to do what I do now. I, I had to create it, right? And we keep getting asked. Uh, are you a liberal or are you a conservative? Did you buy or do you rent, right? What genre of music do you play, right? So we're always asked, like a hundred times a day we get asked, is it A or B? And what I've found is that there's not only a lot more letters in the alphabet, you can create your own. <laughs>